In my travels through France, sourcing things for the shop, I always have an eye for table lamps, typically something like this small bouillot table lamp. But I always look for items that can be transformed and made into very particular unique table lamps with personality and sometimes with quirk. Take for example this cruet set, complete with its original bottles that I've had converted into a lamp and fitted with a shade. I think it's got a wonderful personality and a lot of quirk. This pair of terracotta table lamps I found as an 18th century single baluster for a, a veranda balcony. This part here went into there as a single piece and I carefully separated them and being hollow it was easy to then run a wire through and make a pair of identical lamps. And they've got a wonderful dry old patina. We fitted one with a handmade parchment shade and we can then make shades to suit the house if required. This one, for example, is one of a pair of Chenets, fire dogs. They date to the Napoleon III period, about 1860. They're gilt bronze, fire gilt bronze, but the quality of them is exquisite. It's jewelry-like. And typically, there's the left and the right, and they're symmetrically opposite. Note that when we have these wired to Australian safety standards, we use gold silk cord or black silk cord just to give them that extra bit of chic. And here's another example. I have a pair of Chenet lamps left and right. Very neoclassical, very Louis XVI in style, but again, exquisite quality and with shades that we've made to suit the lamp. And here's an example of a pair of urns from the Art Deco period. They would have been part in origin of what the French call a garniture de cheminée. There would have been a marble clock in the Art Deco style in the centre, flanked by these two urns. I found just the urns at the auction in Paris, uh, no clock. But I knew when I bought them that we would make these wonderful lamps. Once again, we've made these shades black to go with the dark bronze color. And once again, we've used gold silk cord on the switches. And here is a pair of cast iron garden post finials or gate post finials in the Empire style with a typical Josephine Bonaparte swan necks. Left weathered and stained and with all the character and then transformed into large heavy lamps. Here we've used some black silk cord and made these dark parchment shades to fit in.